Hey, what's up, my people? Happy, happy Friday, everybody. I mean, happy um, Wednesday, everybody. Is it Wednesday or is it Tuesday? I got a damn chat. Yeah, happy Wednesday, everybody. So as the title suggests, let me get right up into it. Danny is a perfect gentleman compared to that old woman, Phyllis. Phyllis is a pain in the ass. She really is. She's a true pain in the ass. Um, I don't like this woman. Did you see her horrible behavior today? Look, I was watching Albert's review. It took everything in me not to hit the dislike button. Albert is my guy. But yo, he was tripping today because Danny did the right thing today. I'm about to show y'all some audio in the background. This was Danny. Don't go and twist this, all right? I don't condone what you did, okay? All these game planes and, and pushing that. What the hell? Video on social media. You shouldn't have yeah. done that. You oh, shouldn't have done it. Song. It was beautiful. It was a incredible moment for me, she, like all the moments I spent with you. Look how dirt, how know, desperate she is. Magic going on between us when you know clearly there's not. No, but feelings are feelings. They are. This tacky heifer. Did you see how many likes it got? I don't care about the likes. That was for an audience of one. Exactly. Well, I think she knew how you felt before you even knew, and I don't think I'm making any of that. Look at this good man. And she took the bait, which is basically how you two relate to okay, her. And I right? asked you this before. Don't hold me in. <sighs> Look, I have been out of this, away, you know, happily free from all kinds of romantic entanglements. And you know what? I'm finding that I actually like it. You know, maybe you don't want no drama. That's the best way for me to live my life. You don't mean that, do you? I care about. Both of you. I really do. All right. And the feelings are, are completely different. That's they really right. Are. But that's not enough for either one of you. You want to declare that we're meant to be, and then you want to tell me that I can't be friends with my son's mother. I never said that. I have this great suggestion. Why don't we all just take a step back, all right? Take a big, deep breath and just let this all cool off. That, uh, I think that's best for all of us. I really do. Now you tell me in what world, how does that make him a coward? How does that make him a, a, a wuss? How did he not address the situation head on? How did he not? How did he not? You tell me, how is he a scumbag? Was that a scumbag move? That that ep that is what aired today, today, on February seventh of twenty twenty four. So before y'all could say, "Oh, Kyrie's is just tripping. Kyrie's is just trolling. Kyrie's ain't doing that." No, Kyrie's watched the actual show. I I just showed y'all a two minute clip of what actually happened in today's show. That actually happened today. So how exactly? So for even for the non Young and the Restless fans, you tell me how in the world is Danny a scumbag? For that today. Hi, Boomer Kyrie. Watch your fucking mouth. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Spider Quake. Um, I owe you an apology for the other night. I was so mean to you on, on Monday. I really was. I was mean to you. I was just mean to you for no reason. Um, so I apologize, Spider Quake. Because I was just grumpy. And I took it out on you all Monday night. So I apologize sincerely. Now, Danny did the right thing because Phyllis and Christine are more concerned about themselves. Exactly, Gemini. Thank you. I'm just saying. And Nikki's drunk ass get on my, getting on my nerves. Oh, yes, very much. Nikki gets on my nerves with her drunk self. I'm tired of her always drinking. And can't she just slip and fall already? Um, how about she drink herself into a coma? I don't like that woman, Nikki Newman. I don't have no compassion for her because she has no compassion for nobody else but herself. So why should I be rooting for Nikki Newman? Why should I? Exactly. Her, I, like, how was her liver not run out yet? That's the billion dollar question. How she end up at a bar? Because her tacky self walked up in there. 
Like, oh my gosh. Um, I just need to see my Aunt Jordan. When's my Aunt Jordan coming back? Um, but but Danny made it, but back to Danny. Danny is the is the man of the hour. How did he he made it very clear today in his words? He said he only wants to be friends with Phyllis, but that's not enough for Phyllis, and he doesn't want Christine to tell him what to do because he was being a man. He was uh, being a man is taking control. You don't let a woman control you, all right? You don't get beat into submission. What happened, which is funny how Albert had all this smoke and all this energy for Danny, yet remember when um, he was telling Eric, when Eric was still married to Quinn, that, oh, um, where's, his where, where's his manhood card? Remember that? Remember that, Albert? So now that Danny found his manhood card today, he said he's not for all that drama. I thought men don't like headaches. What happened to that? I can't wait to ask him that the second he walks up in here. I'm going to ask him at the moment he comes up in there. What happened to men don't like headaches? Hi, Shannon. Shannon came in with the lovely words. Hi, everybody. Danny rocks. Thank you. And I just showed y'all how, how much Danny rocks. And that Phyllis Summers is the devil. I'm ripping into Phyllis very shortly. I just want Albert to arrive. Right as I rip into Phyllis. Boy, she pissed me off today with her thirsty behavior, her thirsty, thoughty behavior. Like, she is such a juvenile. Like, what? how did Phyllis get as far as she did in life, like, is a mystery to me. Seriously. Like, this woman is pathetic. Yep, Tony's special announcement. Yeah, they're coming back to Boston a day after my birthday. Like... That's not that's not no gift. I'm not going. I wouldn't even go if the tickets are free. I said it's both Phyllis and Chris, but Danny played a part. Salome's Thursday ass. Big business pay-per-view. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just saying, Tony Khan is whatever. But yes, Danny shouldn't have let that kiss with Phyllis go on for a little bit too long, okay? Because he was just trying to be nice though. You know, LaShanta, Danny was only trying to be nice to Phyllis because that's the mother of his child. Even though I hate that child, Phyllis got that far from sleeping with the right men like Donna. Uh-huh. Phyllis would have been nothing if she didn't get pregnant by Nick Newman, but she she didn't know if Nick or Jack Abbott was the father. One time Jack was Summer's father. The other time Nick, Nick, Nick was the father all over again. She didn't know whoever it was. She didn't know. And then Spider Quick says, I saw Nathaniel today. Yes, Nathaniel was there. He was there. I didn't watch General Hospital today because I don't give a damn about Spencer or that funeral. I'm sorry. I just don't. Like, Spencer could stay gone. But I read the recap, so I'm still going to talk about General Hospital. I just didn't watch it. Tamar hey, Tamara. Welcome. How was your day today and your day off yesterday? Well, my day off, I just, um, I was able to chill. I watched a lot of Danny Bear's videos. Um, Danny Bear and DC Soap Sanctuary. Uh, I watched a lot of their videos last night. Like I watched the whole one hour and ten minutes of one of general of one of Danny Bear's videos, and I watched um I watched like a whole bunch of DC's videos. They were really good too. Hey, Double C. Danny was a good man today. He was a stand up guy today. I was laughing at. <laughs> I love that energy. I'm here for it. I was laughing at. Oh. Um, Spider Quick said I was laughing at the funeral of Spencer. Hell yeah, I was laughing. I don't give up about Spencer's funeral either. Today we finally had the power restored. Good day. Yes! I'm happy you got your power back. Salone want to get laid. I didn't even see Salone on today. I watched Days of Our Lives too. It was actually good. Yo, EJ Demera, on Days of Our Lives, EJ Demera had me cracking up when he said, 
<laughs> yeah. That was savage what EJ said to his brother. He said, I'm either way, I'm gonna come out on top while you about to be in you about to go to prison and be somebody's bottom. I was like, yeah. <laughs> that shit was savage. He said that to his own brother. I'm like, God damn. So I don't want to get laid. But but um I was laughing at Heather blaming Kevin for Esme's death. Brick, Brick didn't like Dex from the start. Exactly. Because Dex can't be trusted. Would you be... Why is that of a concern for you, Spider Quake? That is very inappropriate. I was talking about EJ Demera. Not me. Harris got Lucas jumped. Um, yeah, he did, but oh well. Um, Lucas shouldn't have kidnapped Sammy and he wouldn't have been in jail. So Lucas put himself in the situation. He wanna get out of jail, he gotta, he gotta, he gotta um make some deals with the devil. He did the crime. He's doing the time. Now he'll he'll be free eventually. He'll be free eventually. I like that. But um yeah. Nikki seriously needs to go to rehab and I'm glad that Victor finally for once put his petty energy aside. My Harris is about to die. Yeah, but he's about to be Jason Morgan again. March 4th, 2024. The dream of a bunch of um, fanboys and fangirls are about to come true. Jason Morgan is back. I don't care, honestly. Uh, I'm so disappointed that he's about to be Jason Morgan again. I'm like, really? And he made it clear he wants to retire soon anyways. So it's not like, so it's only going to be a few more years of him back up Carly's ass, and then he's going to die again. And then everybody's like, ooh, Jason, Jason's dead. Where's Jason? <laughs> we got to sit through all that all over again. Oh, how, did I, how did I survive without Jason? Jason coming back is blah. Exactly. I'm like, oh, my. He's only coming back for three years. I can't wait for your Aunt Jordan to get them. Adam warned them. You damn right. You damn right. I watch YNR. This Phyllis. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I watch YNR. This Phyllis cricket thing is is high school. Shaking my head. I know it brings drama. Poor Danny. That's right. I love this comment. Hold up. I got to read this again from the beginning and highlight this to everybody. Tamara Price said a comment that I love. I watch YNR. This Phyllis Cricket thing is so high school. Shaking my head. I know it brings drama. Poor Danny. Caught in the middle. I watch Boring, Bald and the Beautiful. It was so boring I forgot what it's about. Um, the what Bald and the Beautiful was about is Eric proposed to that sl to that Jezebel Donna. That's what that was about. I was happy when Peter ended Jason, and then Dewan says hashtag Phyllis is a devil woman. I agree, she's a devil. Hey, Allison. Um. Everybody say what's up to Allison. Uh, Lucy do too much. They say yes to want. And then who can, and then they said who cares about Donna? Eric's old crusty ass cares about him. And that's what I'm pissed about. Oh right. I thought Eric fell down. He did. He should have died when he had the chance. He had the chance to die at a perfect opportunity to die. But no, Eric Forrester had to live to marry that trash Donna. Hey, Melanie, welcome. Donna's a hero. Donna's a ho-ho. 
I don't like Donna Logan. I'm very disappointed that she and Eric are getting married because I hope they need to bring back Quinn. You damn right. He let Quinn go for trouble. You damn right. Thank you. Thank you, LaShanta. Jealous of Donna. Who's jealous of Donna? I ain't jealous of Donna. Yo, Donna, you want to know what's the sad fact? Donna Corinthos is smarter than Donna Logan. That's just a fact. Um, Melanie says, Kyrie, I watched tomorrow's episode of The Young and the Restless. It's good because it, more Danny, more Danny. You damn right. Yes, Al, now that Albert's here, the gloves are coming off. First of all, no, 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 no. I was watching a whole lot of your video, I watched all of your Young and the Restless review, and I watched all of that live stream. You were spilling all that garbage about Danny. Danny did the right thing today, and you know it. He told, let me tell you, you said that Danny said a whole lot of nothing in five minutes. I'm going to tell you in that five minutes, I already showed it to everybody else. At, at the very beginning of the scene. He said, Albert, I saw the scene with Danny and he did the right thing. Thank you. I played it. Gemini was here when I replayed that scene in front of everybody. You could go you can go back to the beginning at the end of this and you'll you'll see that scene again. First of all, what Danny said was he doesn't want all that drama. That's what he don't want. He made it very clear. He said this in English that he only wants Phyllis as a friend. He wants to support that, support and be there for Phyllis as a friend. He made that loud and clear. That's what his intentions was. When it comes to Christine, it's more. However, he doesn't want Christine to feel, to because Christine is still bitter about all the, her history with, with Phyllis. They go years back. This goes years and years and years back. This, this thing has been going on between Danny, Christine, and Phyllis since the 90s, okay? On and off. This is nonsense, first of all. Um, you know what? Because in reality, I really don't want Danny with either one of these women, to be honest with you. If I'm, if I'm finally being honest, I don't want either one of these women to end up with Danny. Because um, to say 10 minutes of days, did Jason know that Kim was working with Clyde? Yes. Well, not the whole time, but he found out now. Um, Christine and Phyllis could take fl flying leap holding hands. I want Danny with another woman that's more worthy of him because I don't really like Christine. Now, I've been trying. That's what I've been trolling about. That's the only part that I'm trolling about is the Christine factor because I've never liked Christine. I never have liked Christine. I never will like Christine. Probably not. She's a shrew. She's a nag. All she does is nag. However, Danny needs a new lady. You right, Shannon. That's what I'm saying. Danny is a good man. He made it very clear. He only wants Phyllis as a friend. Um, it's all about it. It's all about winning for Phyllis. Did you not see how childish, how immature, how suckerish, how desperate, how thirsty, how unrootable Phyllis Summers was today. Christine doesn't have a problem with him being a friend. He has a problem with them hooking up. If he want to stop the drama, pick a woman and go back and forth. But Albert, how much clearer could, it, could he make it that he only wants Phyllis as a friend? That's what he said today. Phyllis was the one that kept that conversation going, but there was really nothing, nothing to keep going because he said he only likes he only wants to support Phyllis as a friend. Um to get through, the, you know, it takes so much to get through to Phyllis. Because Phyllis, you could say that, you could tell Phyllis something until you're blue in the face. All she's gonna do, she's gonna keep, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Phyllis just wants to get back at Christine because Christine doesn't like her. I'm no fan of Danny being with Christine or Phyllis. He deserves a peaceful, stress-free life so he could play piano and sing. That's true. I would rather him be with another, a whole different woman. Um, all right. Now, that would be a little delusional. Maybe if Aunt Jordan met Danny. Maybe. Hey, Dolomedics. And 
Um, maybe he they could be um her, her prison mates. I mean, he could go write her letters while they're in prison. And Danny wanted to bend Phyllis over and take her at the at the jazz lounge. Uh no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Phyllis was the one that kissed him. Okay. He didn't kiss her first. She put her big manly lips all over him. Okay. Phyllis was already half naked because she's that thirsty. Like, my thing is, as much as I don't like Christine, and I really don't like her, I mean, who here really likes Christine outside of Melanie? I'm just saying, don't say Aunt Jordan because I just ate Kyrie's. Danny kissed her back. He kissed her back. I didn't watch that scene, okay? Let me rewatch that. How, how badly did he kiss her back? Because he don't want her like that, though. He's only trying to be nice, okay? She just caught him in a moment. Let me see. I need I need to replay that. I need to replay that scene. Um, Danny and Phyllis. You all care about Danny more than the writers the YNR have in the last 25 years. And then Darby says, I don't like Christine either. Okay, fine. Even if he did kiss her back in that moment, what did he tell her afterwards? What did he tell her afterwards? Score for Phyllis is zero. Exactly. He made it clear that he does not want Phyllis's any more than a friend. He said that today because that's what he told him. He, he told her. He said, you know what? I've been regrouping. I found myself back in my studio doing my music. And, you know, I've been happy without all that drama for all these years. So I'm just saying, I don't want, I'm at, he's at a place at his life where he don't want drama. Because remember, Albert? I said this before you got here. I'm going to say this again. Um, remember you said men don't like headaches. Didn't Danny make that clear today? He don't want headaches. He doesn't want drama with Christine. That's all he's trying to say. So he wants to be cool with his baby mama because that's his baby mama. He's causing a lot of the drama. Okay. But Phyllis is is instigating more of the drama. He she knows he's not interested in her anymore. Yes, he kissed her back. Okay, that was bad. But however, his words and his actions said otherwise. Neither one of those women have been seeing him for a while. So he took time to reflect on his mistakes. He's like, he should he knows he shouldn't have kissed Phyllis back. He knows he shouldn't have done that. Okay. He knows that. And he took accountability to that. In a way, he he did. He said, "All right, um, it was if that if that kiss was the big deal, what about a kiss that he didn't sleep with her? Exactly, he didn't sleep with her. Now, Albert, I would be on a whole different energy if this was Daniel we're talking about. Daniel's a piece of shit now. Daniel is dead to me. How he cheated on Lily. That is not the same situation that we're seeing with Danny." But I feel like you're putting your disappointment and hatred into Danny that should be reserved for Daniel because Daniel's the one that crossed that line. Kyrie's the bottom line is both of them. It's true. Danny played his part, but that's why he said today he has been radio silent. He's just been focusing on his music and reflecting. He doesn't want any more drama in his life. He made his decision today. He made it clear how he sees Phyllis is as a friend. So sleeping with someone is too far, but kissing isn't as bad. Yeah. I'm just saying, they didn't exchange a two minutes. Like, come on. You could get over a kiss way quicker than you can get over having sex. Someone else having sex with someone. Come on. Those are two different situations. I mean, it's borderline. Not to say that kissing somebody is right. However, they're not married. They're not even, they weren't even really in an exclusive relationship either. He really didn't make it clear. Yes, he did. I mean, did 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 you not see the the one that I the video that I played earlier? I could have sworn he said it. Let me see. Was it because I filmed two parts of that scene? Let's see, that was the second part. Now let me play the first part. I could have sworn he did. Am I in a parallel universe? Like, 
I got to be in a parallel universe right now. One, one second. I'm not ignoring anyone, I promise. I don't know what's going on with this. But yeah, he did. He made it very clear that he only sees Phyllis as a friend. He did make it very clear. Thank you. He did. Mar Martin smacked Lucy down. I was happy when he did that. Kyrie's is on fire, I see. Okay. Yes. Indeed. Um, Cuz, I know that he made it clear. Me and Shannon are not delusional here. We made it, he made it very clear. Um, how are you doing? I haven't seen you since, uh, since I saw you kissing Phyllis. I am so sorry you had to witness that. I'm sorrier than I was. The whole thing was, it was a mess, and I, that's why I've been kind of laying low, you know, just, uh, Focusing creatively. Good for you. I've been in the studio working on the new album. So that's why you've been so quiet. Because to me, your um, your silence speaks volumes. I'm doing this for education purposes. You really don't know what you want, do you? He made it clear he only wants to support Phyllis as a friend today. Hey. Buying into her garden. What I feel for Phyllis is friendship. Because Thank you, friendship. What I feel for Phyllis is friendship. Thank you. He said it. You heard him. You heard him, folks. You heard him. You heard him. You heard him. He said, what I feel for Phyllis is friendship. He said it. I'm into her garden. What I feel for, for Phyllis, Phyllis is friendship. Is friendship. Your friend. Thank you. That is my point. He doesn't know what he wants. Okay. He said he, he said it in his own words. That's what he said. He sees Phyllis as a friend. You can't get Kyrie's hope you don't get get copyrighted. I mean, I, I could just claim fair use. I'm only using that to talk about because that's what the topic of the stream was. So I can get away with fair use. I didn't play the whole episode. I just played moments of it to comment on it, which is what the fair use law is for. The stream is going to be like an hour and some change. When he kissed Phyllis, he tried to kiss Christine. Okay, and that was wrong. And he said he was laying low. Um, Danny wants sugar and spice. Danny wanted to blow. Just don't. Uh huh. I, I said, guys, I pl I played the receipts. Danny wanted to blow Phyllis bl back out at the club. Nope, but he he reflected and he did the right thing. So Albert talking about, oh, he didn't make that clear. You couldn't make that any more clear. You are not going to love Phyllis coming unannounced to Daniel's apartment with Danny there. And he makes it crystal clear it's not going to happen and leaves seeing Christine. Huh? Y yes, he did, Albert. Yes, he made it very clear tonight that, and I'm very proud of Danny. He took the step back and he reflected and he did what he had to do. Kyrie's, he led her on by kissing her. She kissed him first, though. She kissed him first. So Phyllis is not no innocent little flower girl. She's a big, grown Amazon woman. Well, Kyrie's is my guy regardless. I played the truth, though. I played the first part in the beginning of the scene. Like Spider Quake said, you, you can't do with this with the thing. When you go back the first three minutes of this stream, you'll see that I played the other part of that video already to everybody else. I played that, and Gemini saw it. It doesn't matter. He kissed her back. Okay, I get it. He kissed her back, all right? I'm acknowledging that. 
It's not that I'm not, I'm not saying that that's 100% right. What I'm saying is that's not unforgivable, okay? It's not unforgivable. That is what my point is. He made it clear afterwards that he does not want to get back with Phyllis romantically. Okay, I will rewatch the start of the shrimp. Yes, it's within the first three minutes I played it, and I made it clear what Danny said. That episode is for tomorrow, for Danny to tell Phyllis, I have feelings as a friend. It's not going to happen with us. And leaves seeing Christine at the elevator. Awesome! You see? He's still making it clear. And watch, Albert's still going to find a way to hate on Danny. Watch. Even though he's making it clear to Phyllis, he only sees her as a friend. Where's my Queen Jess? I saw her in Albert's live. She'll come when she's ready. I mean, tonight is a heavy young and the restless topic. So that's probably why she might be a little bit more delayed. It's not really about GH tonight. Um, I mean, it is, but it isn't. Because I had to pull out the receipts and some facts. Albert has been spreading lies and fallacies on my guy, Danny. Of course, you know me just being a hater. I know I was kidding earlier, but just never pl played or heard of Tetris, Albert. I can't stand Christina. I mean, not Cri Christine. She's still married to Paul or, to, or do anybody remember. They got divorced. And Phyllis threw that up in Christine's face today. Talk about, oh, you only want Danny because, because um, Paul left you. I'm like, Phyllis, please, you're just still bitter that Jack left you for Diane. So why don't you worry about you getting your man, get you a man. And Nick don't want nothing to do with you either. So get yourself together, Phyllis. Phyllis needs to get her life in order, her affairs in order. And, and, um, you can clearly see, as much as you don't like, I don't like Christine, you can clearly see why um, Phyllis is so jealous of her. Christine is a comp, oh, just a kiss. Okay, yeah, big deal to the toilet seat. But Jocelyn did way more than kissing Cameron. I mean, kissing Dex. She had sex with him, then she dumped him on New Year's Day. So Jocelyn is a big piece of shit for that. So that's this is not the same thing between Danny and Jocelyn. Okay, Albert, let me ask you this. Who's worse, Danny or Jocelyn? Who did who worse? Did Danny just do Christine wrong worse? Or did um Jocelyn do Cameron wrong? That's exactly what I thought. Exactly what I thought. I'm just saying, Danny didn't go nowhere near on that level. Devon already talked to Daniel, so... Why beat a dead horse? He need to beat Daniel's ass. That's what he need to do. He done slept on your sister. That ain't right. Empress Allison, how are you? Oh, by the way, uh, Allison says, oh, by the way, great to see Cam today. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. Um, I think Cameron's a big old punk. Kyrie is on point tonight. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and out, um, I... We're announcing it here, folks. Um, me and Albert are working on a new, on our newest collab with DC. So hopefully on Saturday or Sunday or at some point soon, we should be having a new collab soon. If it's not this week, it'll probably be next week or at some point in the very new future, uh, me and Albert and DC are going to have a collab because um, me and DC need it, need it, are, are the kings of the... Um, of the Danny can of the Danny fan club and Albert is going to gladly listen to us on his stream because he's awesome like that. I also need to have Albert on my stream one day. One day at some point too soon too. And team Nina DC and Nina fan. Yeah. Tonight is not a Nina defending night, though. She wasn't even on today. And I don't feel like defending Nina Reeves. Defending Nina Reeves is something, of course, anything for my guy Kyrie. Of course. That's going to be fun. Me, you, and DC, 
where Danny is going to be a heavy topic. Danny is a great man, everybody. There's going to be more drama with Devon confronts Daniel on when Lily is going to know that, oh yeah, Nina will certainly be a topic in that in that conversation too between me, Albert, and DC. Yeah, I know that's going to be a great live stream. I've been, like I said, cause I've been watching a bunch of DC Soap Sanctuary videos. So, Nina Nation, it's a celebration. Put the collab on both channels. I guess. If we say so. Hashtag Team Nina. You right. It will probably, like I said, it will probably be, it will most definitely likely be on a weekend. So we shall see. Why did Jack lure Victor from that club? I'm just happy that Victor put his big ego aside for once to help his ex stripping, glorified, glorified hooker wife. Eight, ugh. Aiden Bradley as Xander Avant is returning next week, February 12th to February 16th, coming after Thomas. Blech. I mean, actually, on second thought, on second thought, justice for Emma. Justice for Emma. I want Danny to sing more. That's right. I need to play one of Danny's songs. Um, Trina literally laughed at the grave, LOL, laughing and crying the same thing. Uh, uh, Allison was damn right. <laughs> it's true. Nikki's a good woman. I could read that sentence out loud and not throw up on the inside. I laughed the whole funeral. It was funny. TNA has a new president, Anthony Sikon. Sicone, who has no experience in wrestling, by the way. So TNA is probably going to sell off to WWE at some point, slash TKO at some point. Okay, well, I'm I'm ahead to bed. Have a good night, Kyrie, and everybody. Yes, um, I'll be in touch very soon about our collab. Make sure, make sure you message me when you hear from DC on when our collab is going to be. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good one. Because I will be more confident than ever before. <laughs> Thanks to these wonderful live lives experience that I have now. Now I come on live naturally. They rushed RJ and Luna and then they have a seat. RIP TNA. Uh -huh. Victor has drunk Nikki running a, co a company, and she needs rehab. She sure do. She needs rehab in Jesus. She needs Jesus. She needs him. Trina and Finn can't cry. Can't cry for nothing. At least Finn could look like a little, a little five-year-old from Bald and the Beautiful when he starts crying. Yeah, he she left me. Yes, but Shannon, I 100% agree with you. I want Danny to be singing some more because Danny is a good man. Right, Spider Quick? Say it again for the world to hear it. Danny's a good man. LaShanta RJ's half Logan. What else can he do? Those Logan sisters. Oh, those Logan women. They are just deceitful women. Donna doesn't deserve to be a bride right now. She deserves nothing. Okay, she's wrecked. She wrecked up a whole good marriage. She wrecks everything she touches. She doesn't deserve to be Mrs. Eric Forrester right now. She does not deserve it. Back to my earlier comment. I know folks with ALS, they are killing Gregory way too quick. True, it ain't that fast. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Um, wait, Gregory's dead already. Not that I'm not that I'm complaining, but I'm just saying. Not that I'm complaining, cause I damn sure ain't. He no, but they doing it. Oh, 
Yeah. Probably right after the wedding. I doubt it. Because they seem like they want to pair him and Tracy together romantically. But speaking of Tracy, there's another Tracy that I, that officially became on my fan club. Tracy Abbott. I'm a fan of Tracy Abbott. Um, LaShanta, are you a fan of Tracy Abbott? Luna doesn't want Zende. Arian Zucker as Nicole is returning next week, February 16th, but she's going to Italy with Holly. So I hope Eric follows after Salone gets exposed for stealing Jude. Yes, that would be nice. I'm having there happily ever after. Uh, that would be good for the show. That would be a good ending to that storyline. And I want to see Salone in jail. LaShanta says, yes, yes, I'm a huge fan of Tracy Abbott lately. She's really been stepping up. I like how she's no longer civilized with Tucker. Like, Tucker, Tucker, about, oh, no, he is still alive. Who's still alive? It'd be funny if Stephanie returns to B&B and take out Donna. Uh Uh-huh. I love him and Tracy. Yeah, me too. Tracy Abbott is like Donna Logan in a supporting character. Tracy Abbott is nothing like Donna Logan, okay? Tracy Abbott is intelligent. Um, t- Tracy Abbott has morals. Tracy Abbott has class. All the things that Donna Logan lacks. Tucker paid that man, probably. More, most certainly, he probably did. He's a treacherous. They are turning Drew bad to make Jason be the good brother. I guess so. But I didn't really, you didn't, they didn't need Jason to come back to give me a reason not to like Drew. I already don't like Drew. Nicole got fired from Days and now is suing Days for sexual harassment. Yep, I heard about that. I'm like, wow. I'm just saying. All the above, Tracy is the heart. Exactly. She's the heart and soul. She's a true matriarch of the of the thing. When is Jason coming back? March 4th of 2024. I know that because I was so gleefully promoted by another YouTuber. It said, I won't say, I won't say his name, but. Guys, if you're a, a fan of Jason Morgan, uh, ma- mark your calendars. March 4th, 2024, Jason Morgan is coming back. Hey, my queen, Jessica. Spider Quake, she's here. My gorgeous queen, Jessica, is here. I give Drew six months after March 4th. Allison says, hello. <laughs> Exactly. I didn't I didn't say who I didn't say who it was. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. On on March on March 4th, Jason Morgan is coming back. I wasn't feeling GH today. Me neither. I'm happy because you know why? Cause um they're just wasting tears on Spencer. He's not dead, and even if he was really gonna be killed off. Um that's still a waste of a funeral. When Nicholas died, he got an off-screen funeral. And he was presumed dead for years. So, why should Spencer get this big old funeral? Like we care about him. I don't care about that boy. He's a baby stealing. He helped steal a baby Tracy up there with Laura. We talking about Tracy Abbott? Kyrie's, I'm done with you. LOL, wasted tears on Spencer and poor Esme got printed out word doc in a frame from Staples. Not a frame from Staples, I'm dead. A frame from Staples. Damn. <laughs> Kyrie's, I'm done with you. Exactly, it's just wasted tears. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm dead. 
<laughs> they did our girl wrong, damn it. They did her wrong. Esme left us. Exactly. Esme actually gone from the show. But everybody got to gotta have that fake tears ready for their fake, with Trina's fake non-crying ass. Please, pizza, I miss him so much. Like, get out of here. When we only had to go without this bastard for a few months, please make it longer. At least we got crazy Heather. Yes, Heather's coming for revenge. So, Nicholas, boy, you going to get it. Sonny will probably kill Dax. Yes, and what will precious Jocelyn do about it? Huh, Jessica, what's Jocelyn going to do about it when Sonny kills Dax? What's she going to do? What's she going to do? How long do you give it until she finds another joystick? How long do you give it, Jessica? Huh? The Queen Jessica, the floor is yours. Dex will be up, will be on that hook again. Staples. I missed this chat. <laughs> Sonny better not touch him. Oh, but if he do though, but if he do, what is Jocelyn gonna do about it? That's the million dollar question, Jessica. What is Jocelyn going to do about it? Hey, Danny Bear. Welcome. Everybody say what's up to Danny Bear. I've been shouting out your channel all day because I've been watching your clips. Because um, I've been watching your videos all last night. I watched multiple of your videos. I watched um, that. Well, today I was watching the Days of Our Lives Weekly, None of Your Business. I was watching that. But last night I watched um, both. The Good and Goodbye, that was 55 minutes and 30 seconds. And then Revenge is a Dish Best Served Cold. I was watching that. One hour, four minutes, and 16 seconds. I loved every single second of it. And then will Michael be on that hook too? I sure hope so. I would pay money to see that. More like, what am I going to do? <laughs> Hello, Al. <laughs> Hashtag Jessica, I got your back. Hashtag revenge for Dex. Dex ain't gonna do nothing. Joss can take out that short little man. Exactly. Wait, which short little man? She gonna take out thing? I've been shouting out your channel all day, Danny Bear. And I shared one of your videos on my face on that group on that Facebook page. I'm just saying, Danny Bear is gonna get that recognition she deserves. We all gonna grow up. We gonna come. We gonna come up. We on the rise. Danny Bear has seven hundred amazing videos out there, and we we about to watch every last one of them. I love I loved her videos. I'm gonna stay watching them throwbacks. And then Danny Bear says, "Hey, Sharon. And hey, yes, Allison." Josh could take the little short man. You know, uh-uh. Jocelyn is about to get put in her place, finally. But if Jess, if Sonny wants to put him shirtless on the hook, I mean, boy does deserve a little punishment. I'm just saying. Hey. <laughs> oh. Double C says Jocelyn could take Sunny. Hey, she wouldn't be the first one to try and get checked. LOL, Allison, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm just saying, Dex definitely need a good beat down. You don't go, you don't go messing with the mob and then expect it not to get dealt with. I'm just saying. I need it. He need to get it together. Because Dex, you mess with the wrong man. Sonny Corinthos is not to be played with right now. And he don't give a damn about Jocelyn. Kyrie's, your views have been up also. Thank you, Gemini. Thanks to great people like you and my gorgeous Queen Jessica, Allison, Double C, Danny Bear, 87. 
Spiderquake, Lashanta, Melanie, Tamara, all of y'all support is really helping this channel grow. We're going to get to 1,000 subscribers, y'all. We're going to do it. Before, before, by the end of the summertime, we're going to get up to 1,000 subscribers. We're going to do it. It's going to take a team effort, but we're going to get there. We're going to get 1,000 crazy people. Not too crazy. Crazy. Jason is 100%. Oh, and, and thanks to great people like Shannon, Jason is the 100% the one after Sunny. Heard Michael was outed for trying to put Sunny away next week. Ooh! What's the update on your TV? I'm going to get another one on Friday. I'm going to buy a brand new TV on Friday. Um, that's when I'm going to get my TV. But at least all my all my shows will still be recorded. That's why I'm going to make sure I do a live stream. I'm probably going to do another Saturday live stream. I mean, I'm going to do... Um, you said I have a spare if you're in New York. LOL. Nah, I'm in Boston. But it's still not working. LOL. Hell no. It will not turn back on. That shit is died out. So I will buy me a brand new TV. I'll be fine with that. I'm happy with that. New room, new TV. I'm here for it. Brand new chapter. Check, check your views to get monetized. <laughs> then Jessica said, laughing my ass off. Very crazy. I know, like I got this short, the short view of the exhorted, the un. Unveiling the extraordinary man goodness of Danny from the Young and the Restless. He said, "How you watch the stuff, the soaps, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube has been coming through. Like that video that I just played. That was from uh, the Young and the Restless. That was from YouTube when they actually. That was actually a very good quality. Streams via laptops. Yeah, I stream via the laptop." The TV aware on sale for Super Bowl for Super Bowl weekend. Yep, and I'm about to snag me up one of them TVs. I sure am. I can't wait. I want to watch my wrestling again. Then I need to get my actual medic. Yes, this is the best time of the year to buy a TV super sales. I can't wait. I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to be so dang happy because it's about time. It's been days overdue. I get to watch my shows again. Who oh, I'll be so happy. So damn happy. But Days of Our Lives is actually stepping it up today. It was actually a good show. Like I said, EJ's comment was the best comment by far. I cannot believe he did that. He said that he said that to his own brother. You see that what's new on TV, that wireless, like a big old, that's insane, and like 5K. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Um, <laughs> that was... He said, either way, I'm going to come out on top and you're about to go to prison to be somebody's bottom. He said that to his own brother. I'm like, God damn. Damn. I did not see him actually saying that, but I'm glad that Ava finally told Harris what was going on. I think Liz sees Jason first. Oh, so is history going to repeat itself? Is this going to be 2015 again? Except this time, instead of it being Drew, it's going to be the actual Jason that she's going to hide from her, her family. She's going to hide from everybody. You know, it's funny how, how, many, how much people have forgotten that Elizabeth was the original Nina. Everyone gives all the smoke to Nina nowadays about not telling Sonny about Nixon Falls. But yet Elizabeth did the same thing in 2015 and she was just as hated. 
but that was all forgotten over time. So Nina will be all right. Right, Jessica? Right, Queen Jessica? Nina will be fine because Elizabeth got through it in 2015. So, oh, yes, Liz did, did it first. Yep. So as long as Jason doesn't play Andrew and Beeline to, to girlfriend Carly, I'm good. So as long as Drew, Jason doesn't play Drew and Beeline to, to girlfriend Carly, I'm good. Mm -mm. Yeah, but Nina, Best Buy has 65 inch for $399. Oh, no, I'm about to buy me a $100 TV. Fuck that. I ain't buying no $399, 65, nothing. F that. I'll be good with my, with my regular TV. Yep, Elizabeth was a hot-ass mess. She sure was. She sure was. But she made it through. Because she... Yeah, 400 is too much exactly. I don't know. I'll stay with that $100 TV. 400 I don't think so. Not in this lifetime. Nor the next. One second. I'm not ignoring anyone. I promise. Oh, oh, oh. Let's hope a billionaire sees this. <laughs> oh, 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 let's hope a billionaire sees this. Let him, let let a billionaire see that and then see that four hundred dollar comment. I need I need a real life Oprah. <laughs> Oprah, uh, anyone can share this video with Oprah. <laughs> If someone could share this video with Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey, I'd be here for it, or Tyler Perry, or one of them, <laughs> one of them wealthy people. Are you? Are you all kidding me? Uh oh, uh oh, uh. I'm just. Oh <laughs> uh oh oh. Uh. So if you could share, so Gemini, if you could share this video with Oprah Winfrey or Tyler Perry. I'm just saying, fun the TV. So if anyone loves my content, wants more, wants even more of my content, share this with share this with your friend that got an extra bank account. And it's pinned right here. If you want to donate towards, because the the quicker I have a TV, the better I can make the content for you. Okay. <laughs> So I don't have to just keep winging it without my damn TV working. <laughs> I'm just saying. So if y'all want to, y'all want to um support the channel and send that to a billionaire. <laughs> send that to your millionaire friend. Send that to your bestie. Send it to somebody. Send it to your friend with the bad credit. <laughs> But a good credit, but still have, but still have money left on that credit card to put on that cash app to donate towards my new TV. I would appreciate it. I would shout out every last one of y'all. <laughs> Suck it up, Buttercup, and use your lap. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Shit, I'll be all right. <laughs> But I'm just saying, you want to you want to share this video with your friends, and they can see that I got it right there. That money, Clark S. Cash, 
2098. Oh, Ambassador Sam, do you hear me? <laughs> this is a bitch if we had billionaire friends. <laughs> You ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. Shit, my ass wouldn't even be here if I had a billion dollar, a billionaire friend. If you have a BJ card, they have some on sale for eight eighty nine dollars or one seventy nine. You know, I almost did have a BJ card. I almost did cash in on that on that free one that I almost won for a year. Oh, oh, oh. I will turn my TV on my damn self when I get paid on Friday. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. But they say a closed mouth doesn't get fed. So shit. So if you want to donate to the damn channel, <laughs> I'm just saying. I might be able to invest invest in some owl combat, not buttercup. Ow, ow, ow. I'm dead. I am dead right now. I don't do the joke I could make about a BJ card. Yep. There ain't no virgins in here. Unless Spider Quake is still here. There ain't no virgins. I know what you meant <laughs> with a BJ card. Shit, if I had a BJ card, I wouldn't be in this damn predicament. <laughs> it's like a Costco. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm just saying. Lord have mercy. Fix it. Jesus, I cannot wait until Friday. Could Alice and I be on vacation every day? Shit. Hey, Ambassador Sam. Everybody say what's up to Ambassador Sam. He's awesome. It's always so lovely to have you in, in any streams. Did you enjoy the soap operas today? What was your favorite highlight of the soap operas, Ambassador Sam? My highlight was Danny putting his foot down with Phyllis and Christine, that he won't be bullied and pushed around any further. Um, that he just wants to, because all Danny wants to do is just be friends. He wants to be a good man. And he is. Sam will say, Dante, who when Jason is back? I'm not too sure about that. Um, maybe, but you never know. Uh, I cannot wait until Friday. When I have my TV back, it just don't feel right not having my TV at night with me. After a long day of work, Shannon disagree. Yeah, I don't think that Danny's going to, I mean, Danny, he must be thinking of me. <laughs> but I don't think Sam's going to leave Jason. Leave Dante to be with Jason again. I don't think they want to go down that road again. And then Danny Bear 87 says, hey, to Ambassador Sam as well. Yes. Everyone said, what's up to Ambassador Sam? He is amazing. Sam left Jason. She was tired of his lifestyle. At least that's what she told herself. Dante. Sam, Kyrie's needs a new TV. LOL. It's true. I do need a new TV. LOL. So share, share this video with your friends. That's my cash app right there. OMG, I miss my TV. I'm glad you acknowledge he stood up to both, not just my girl. Yes, because Christine needs to know that she's not going to just dominate Danny like that. Hit up hit up the cues, Kyrie. Tr 
Tracy got a TV. We'll, we'll hook you up on the spot with a TV. Yeah, I'm here for that. I'm here for it. <laughs> so if anyone has the numbers to the Quartermain family, tell them to ring up my cash app. Ooh, who is she? Tell the quarter mains to cash at me at, at Cash Clark S Cash 2098 to cash out towards my TV, please. Friday is a long ways away. Friday still feels like forever. Tell Trace to spot your TV. Carly's going to drop Drew for sure. Yeah. Well, Drew shouldn't have gotten involved with Carly to begin with. Friday's basically in one day. I know. One day so long from now. Oh, I would love to watch TNA live. Drew's going to have whiplash. Carly will dump him so quick for Jason. He always... I really... Almost don't want Carly, but I really don't want Carly and Jason as a couple because Chris will always hate Phyllis for the past, but it's not right to make Danny feel bad about being her friend. I mean, you're right in a way. Who is she, Kyrie's? Who is who? What are we talking about? Oh, you meant you meant when I when I looked at my phone real quick. Oh, that Snapchat. I don't know who that. I don't know who that is. I really. That's why. That's why I was intrigued. I was like, well, who is she? She was looking good for a minute. She was looking real good for a minute. I was like, hold up. I'm just saying she would still have to wait ninety days, of course. But I'm just saying she was looking good. Kyrie says, ew! Gross. Ew. Just ew. Gross. Ugh. You just had to ruin it. Joking, LOL. I don't even have I don't even got Snap. I know, but yeah, but you had to ruin Snapchat for me. Now I got to delete my profile. <laughs> you said, damn. <laughs> Not me. Like that. <laughs> Shit. Michael going to get Dex caught up. Oh. He's not. When you looked at your phone, Yes. No, I really don't know who this girl is. Like I said, that's why, but she came up in my Snapchat feed. So that's why I was like, who is she? He's too young to have Snap. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord. I said, no, there's seven-year-olds with it. That's because those parents let these kids act like they act like they grown. What's going on about a TV? Um, what happened is my TV died on like on Saturday. I, I've been without a TV since Saturday because my TV died on Saturday. So I've gone Sunday night, Monday night. Tuesday night and tonight without a TV. So on Friday, I plan on getting me a good TV. Well, despite I have to get my room wired and all that other stuff. But I plan on doing that on Friday. But Gemini put up a nice idea of getting us. <laughs> Curries, don't be, don't be making on the parenting skills. Oh, oh, oh. 
but I'm hoping to get a new t- a nice new TV right on Friday after work. But um, but I just put that out there in case anyone wanted to donate towards the channel. It would be appreciated, but they don't have to. I don't need it either. I don't. Um, it's a, it's all good either way. But that is my cash up. If anyone wants to donate towards the channel or have any rich friends like Oprah, Win- ideally Oprah Winfrey or Tyler Perry or um, more importantly, Danny from The Young and the Restless. Um, I don't even need the cash app for for Danny. Um, he could come on. He could just if he was able to come on my stream for like five minutes, that would make my whole world. Or you call it a Mr. Brennan or Mr. Brennan. Kyrie's is going to go back to his old ways to get his new TV. I'm dead. Not my old ways. Ow, ow, ow. I'm just saying, if I was to get a donation, I would go run, try to run the Best Buy in the morning. <laughs> Nick and Adam getting along. I know I'm proud of them. Genuinely, I am. I'm proud of Nick and Adam. And hey, Shakira, Shakira, Shakira. Walmarts have some TVs for the low, low also. Hey. I'm a I'm a be up in somewhere on Friday to get my TV. I miss my TV. I miss it like no other. Which is why on Monday my stream was a little different than how I usually am. Like you see today, at least I'm genuinely smiling today. Unlike Monday, I was not happy between work stressing me out. I was so stressed out with work. Adjusting to working until 6 a.m. Shouldn't have. I didn't break it, okay? It stopped working. It just went dead. It's not like I, if I was the one that broke it, it would have been different. But I didn't. It just stopped working. It won't, it won't turn on. Like the plug part is dead. If I if I got a new plug, then maybe, but no, it won't it won't plug in. But I didn't break it. I didn't get mad and break it. It's not like that happened. Phyllis is a horrible woman, and she's an even worse mother. I agree with that, Dewan. Phyllis Summers is a horrible woman, and she's an even worse mother. I agree with that. Dewan is on fire. He is reading Phyllis tonight. All you need is a few minutes. We wouldn't judge you. Then you go back to your 90 days. I can't. Gemini. Oh, oh, oh. Everything lasted back in the day. I remember I used to break my controls. Well, I'm not you, Spider Quake. I'm a responsible young adult. Stop saying that, Kyrie. It's about the TV. You're going to curse all of us. <laughs> Without about the TV, you're gonna curse all of us. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm not. I'm a good man, okay? I'm a good man. I'm a good man that just wants his TV back desperately, but I'll get it on Friday because I'm a hard worker, okay? I am. I go to work every day. Monday, you were being mean. I took one night off and you were acting up. Where's my belt? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Um, I was really mean. I was kind of mean to Spider Quick on Monday. No, no, not gonna lie. I was kind of, I was kind of crabby towards him. Like he kept talking about Liv Morgan, and then I kept shutting him down. I kind of felt bad about it the next day. And not to mention, I was kind of, I shut down Albert's excitement about Jason Morgan. Like Albert was so happy about Jason Morgan. You just mad Liv Morgan wouldn't want you. You right, Spider Quake. She don't want me. She only wants you. Yeah, um, Liv is too good for me because she's perfect for you. She she told me she don't want she don't want me. She wants you. So that's why I was mad and I was jealous. You're right. You are right, Spider Quake. Hey, 
You win, I lost. What can I do? Hey, I can't win them all. At least I can keep Willow company. I'm always right. See, now you had to ruin it. I tried to give you your moment, and then you just had to piss me off again. So, what should I do? Should I put him on time or just remove that comment? I'll just ignore. Since I still feel guilty about how I treated you on Monday. To be honest, I'll let you have Willow if I can get Liv Morgan. You know Spider is sensitive. Uh-huh. I'm just saying. We all know he was crying about Albert for weeks. It took him weeks to get over his breakup with Albert. I know not, Gemini. Uh-huh. Yes, you were crying about Albert for weeks, Spiderquake. But you finally got over it. I never cared. Bull crap. You cared and then some. You cared and then some. You know you were crying. Don't try to don't try to don't try to um tone that down now, Spider Quake. I just said it was dumb I got blocked for no reason. Yeah. Like you weren't crying about it. You were definitely crying and you know it. Tucker gaslighting Ashley trying to run her. Her crazy paid the way to the lie. Mm-hmm. I wasn't. And then he said, Albert Block Spreader. Come on, Allison. No, leave him. <laughs> Hello, Allison. <laughs> I've been blocked for like three weeks. Uh-huh. Come on, Allison. Oh, yeah. Well, Allison don't be around as much as she used to be on you. What the F did you do? Um... He was telling Albert how he's going to run shit and whatever. He's going to say what he want to say. And then I'm, I'll be sure to tell Albert where you were crying, Spider Quake. Yep, he was. He was crying. Albert is the sweetest. You must have effed up big time. Well, Albert thought that Spider Quake was just a better fit for here then. So Albert made Spider Quake my responsibility. Sort of. Kyrie's pick one, Brennan or Willow? Willow, but... Uh, I mean, Willow could give me children. She has proven fertility. Okay, so I'm going to choose Willow. But if Willow becomes infertile for whatever reason, then move over, sister. Because Mr. Brennan is taking the, is, is stealing the show. I will reach out to you. We are all proud of you Sing, signing off for now. Yes. Good night, Ambassador Sam. It's always awesome to have you. Ha <laughs> ha. He tossed a potato. Then I said, I'm not going to filter myself for anyone and got blocked. Yes. Everyone say good night to Ambassador Sam. Yeah, that was funny as how that Brooke Logan thinks that, I mean, DC said in his video that he thinks that Brooke Logan is the um, the Forrester matriarch. I had to put in his comment section, I'm like, Brooke Logan is the Forrester mattress, not the matriarch. So let's get that right. She's the Forrester mattress. She slept her way to the top. Her milkshakes brings all the boys to the yard. It brings all the boys to the yard. I'm just saying, she done slept her way up and down that Forrester ladder. And her and Ridge are so toxic with their on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again relationship. It's just so tiring. Yet their fans keep wanting them for more. What about chemo? Willow's fertility is done. Uh, no. Willow could have more babies, okay? She could have another baby. 
she delivered a whole baby despite having um that she she still delivered a very healthy happy baby so a baby that's like grown for college I already told you, Spider Quake, I'm choosing Willow because she can give me another a baby. So that is why I'm choosing Willow. My bad didn't hear. We'll get you some, some earbuds then. I said it. I'm choosing Willow. However, Brooke is definitely a mattress. Yes, she is. I'm glad Ace is back. I have them on. Well, good for you. Who's worse, Kyrie's Brooke Logan or Phyllis Summers? I mean, if you asked me that a day ago, I would have said Brooke Logan, but um, yeah, Brooke Logan is worse. Who am I kidding? Yeah, I kind—I kind of feel like I got a uterus of steel after that. Lol. Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, Brooke is a mattress, air bed, twin bed. <laughs> I'm done. Not an air bed, twin bed. Brooke Logan. No, um, I'm going to X out that first part. But Danny's a good man. I agree with that. Danny is a very good man. He's a very, 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 very good man. That's why I defended him so hard tonight. And I brought the receipts for Danny. I brought the receipts. I brought out all the receipts because Danny is, a, I missed it. Who got ace now? Laura. Laura has ace. Brooke and her destiny got to go. Uh-huh. They got to go. I'm just saying. Does anyone have Oprah Winfrey's phone number? <laughs> Hello, out. Tell Oprah Winfrey to send me one of those $400 TVs Gemini recommend. <laughs> I'm dead. Tell Oprah to not Laura. Yeah, yeah, Allison. Laura has the baby. Laura has Ace. That is who has Ace. It's Laura. Laura and Kevin. Stephanie Forrester smiling. Brooke got her just dessert. Uh-huh. Brooke and her destiny got to go. They got to go because they some ho-hos. Yeah. Allison, Laura has the baby. Laura. Imogene Weber. Brooke is worse because Phyllis would sleep with her daughter, wouldn't sleep with her daughter's boyfriend. Exactly. Even though... Phyllis's daughter slept with her boyfriend. Phyllis slept with Billy while she was with Summer. I'm just, I mean, Summer slept with Billy while, she, while he was with Phyllis. While she was, yeah. That's what Summer did. Because Summer has no training. But Phyllis is an excellent mom, right, Dewan? She raised a great daughter. Right, Dewan? Yes. All right. This stream is working. We got 544 subscribers now. We getting there. All right. I'm gonna encourage. I'm gonna start encouraging more and more and more. When I see more people keep popping in and out, I'm gonna encourage more people to um, put the to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I joined this good family club that we got going on. We got a good family unit. Brooke is a chair bed, water bed, fold out bed. I'm dead. Every time I see the makeout session between Brooke and Ridge makes me nauseous. Damn right. Can't stand that old worn out mattress tag. That bed hopping trollop. She is just the absolute worst of the worst. She slept her way to the top. 
repeatedly. She is just horrible. She's an evil woman, you yeah, know? She truly is. She's just evil. She is selfish. And she get on my nerves. Who is this? You seem like more of a real person than most of them. Miss Who Miss Wu is coming back. Big mob stuff coming. All right. I love it when Quinn and Shauna reminded her. Kyrie, check your views to get monetized. What you mean? What you mean by that? I'm just saying, I am in my YouTube studio. I got 2,165 public watch hours. So we getting up there. I got to wait till that's three, to, till we get to the 3,000 mark. 3,000 watch hours. That's why the more streams I do, the longer I do these streams, that definitely does help. more than some of the videos. And then Dewan asked me a trick question. Do I love Brooke? How no. But I'm sure many, 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 many other men have loved Brooke Logan. F yeah, Miss Wu was coming back. Can she bring Taggart with her? Ow, ow, ow. I'm dead. I can't. I can't right now. I just can't. Phyllis Logan. What about Katie Baby? It's Katie Baby. Oh, come on, Kyrie's. You know I love Katie Baby. It's Katie Baby. It's Katie Baby. I love I love I love I love Katie Baby. Come on, Kyrie's. You know I love Katie Baby. That Katie Baby. What about her? She get on my damn nerves. And she don't deserve Carter. I want Bill and Carter to break up. I mean, Bill and Carter. <laughs> the ones that out, out, out. I'm just saying. I want... Actually, Bill and Carter would be hot compared to... Katie and Carter. Yeah. I'm just saying, Katie is old compared to Carter, okay? She is. She looked like she's a sick elderly lady that he's taking her over. Katie hasn't get monetized. YouTube can cut you a check. I know, Gemini, but I still have to meet another requirement of um, the public watch hours. You see? It's right here. I got 2,165 watch hours out of 3,000 watch hours. So the, the more the watch hours get up there, um, I will work to get this channel monetized. That's why I say if people want to donate to the channel, I can get more, I could get more funding for ads and stuff like that. We can I could try the A B testing. I could try things to get this up and running. But you know, but we have some strong momentum going now. We got over 544 subscribers. Um, we're definitely growing, okay? We're definitely we're reaching more people. The impressions are working. The thumbnails have been getting stronger. Have you noticed? I've been putting some high resolution thumbnails out there. So I'm definitely, we definitely are growing. So I'm appreciative of it. Just trust me. We're going to get there. We're going to get to these thousand subscribers and we're going to get the watch time up there. We're going to come up in there. It's going to be like 50. 50 to 60 to 70 to 80 to 90 different people in this chat room at some point. We're going to have up to 100 people in this chat room at some point. That's going to be crazy. 
but I'm going to keep that same energy. Danny should come on GH and sing Brooklyn and Chase Wedding song. I would love that. And where did Melanie go? Last I saw her when she said about the Jude thing. I will share more to help. Thank you, Gemini. I appreciate that. Yes, sharing that video definitely does help this algorithm. That really does help. So if anyone could share this video, ideally to Oprah Winfrey, if you could share that to her, even if she don't respond, tag her in that post that you share it. Tag Oprah Winfrey, and let's hope that she sees this cash app. And she says, you get a TV, you get a TV, you get a TV, you get a TV. The shorts really help, I've noticed. Yes, definitely. The shorts do help. Because like on Saturday, the, that shorts was, was running like crazy. I was like, oh, shoot. Um, when I, especially when I did that Danny video, um, that got almost 300, view, 300 views. I was like, wow. And then the George Lopez, that's a draw that has over six over um six thousand views. The Nina Reeves Nation has one hundred and fifty six views. I've been noticing. I've been finally getting some, some um. Of that show that I I briefly did, that's still on Peacock. I could still do the rest of that show of Wolf Like Me. That's actually been getting a few people have been clicking on that lately. So, um, I would love to finish making the rest of those videos, but I really wasn't getting no <laughs> no comments at that time. Brooke Logan is so pure. She's pure. Lucy and Scott are hot mess. Yes, they are, right, Mia? Ain't they a hot mess? Come here. Uh, I loved your Danny video. Thank you, Shannon. I love I love that Danny bit, that Danny video too. Because it was a very good win video. But y'all think I'm playing? I'm dead serious. Go, go. When you share this video, tag Oprah Winfrey in it. I'm hoping it will get her attention. I love me some Oprah Winfrey right now. <laughs> I've always liked Oprah, but especially now. She's a good woman. Tag Tyler Perry. Tag them all. Danny is wonderful, though. Lucy and Scott is a hot mess. Yes, I'm glad that Scott dumped, I mean, that Martin dumped Lucy because don't nobody have time to be playing Lucy's mind games. Lucy is an old 60-plus-year-old woman. Like, Lucy, we don't have time to be playing your little childish games that you keep wanting to be playing. Like, don't nobody have time for that. You need to grow up at some point. You were like, Dewana, pure what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dewan, you have the floor. What is Brooke pure at? And our click-through rate tonight is a 3.8%. So far, I've had 73% subscribed, only 26% not subscribed that checked into this video tonight. So yes, yeah, share, 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 so we could get this momentum back. We can get this up to... I know a thousand subscribers is definitely attainable. Pure mattress. You got that right, Dewan. You got that right. 
I mean, and I still can't believe when Brooke had the nerve to call Shauna a slut. She called her a slut from a desert, and then she slapped Donna. I mean, Shauna. Shauna. Multiple times. I'm like, have you lost your mind? When Shauna said, look at you, Miss Hypocrite. She said, you slept with every male member of the Forrester family, and your your precious hope came from your was wasn't he married? Wasn't he once your son-in-law? So if anyone has earned the 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 title slut, it's and then Brooke slapped her, and then threw that vase. I would have, like, I wish I was writing writing for that episode. I would have effed Brooke. I mean, Shauna should have fucked Brooke up, like. Shauna really should have just really manhandled Brooke. Brooke should have been in that ER that night. That's the way that, that should have ended. Laura told Sonny off. Yeah, Laura made it clear. She ain't, why Shauna let Brooke get away with that? Quinn got Brooke. Uh-huh. Yeah, because Brooke tried that one more time. See, Shauna left that bad impression. But Brooke tried that one more time until Quinn slapped the fire out of Brooke. Brooke hasn't slapped nobody ever since. When Quinn slapped the taste out of Brooke's mouth. Because you could say what you want. Brooke did talk a bunch of trash to Quinn, mainly because she's hiding behind Eric. But um, but Brooke never once slapped Quinn now. Never once physically did Brooke slap Quinn. Ow now. Quinn would have effed Brooke up. And they know it. Even even when all them brook lover those brook lovers are oh let let Brooke hit Quinn one more time they say I mean let let Brooke hit Quinn please that never happened it never happened because Quinn would f Brooke up and they knew it Brooke Logan for the oh please um then you must have not watched when Quinn slapped the taste out of Brooke yo that was one of my favorite episodes of all time. When she said, bah! <gasps> and then she said, Stephanie taught you how to slap? Bitch, you should have brought, learned that from me. Brooke is scared of Quinn and Sheila. She should be, because they will both F her up. But that was a classic line. When she said, thing taught you how to slap? Bitch, you should have learned that from me. That was epic. Wasn't it, Mia? You loved that episode, too. You weren't even born yet, but you loved it. Or you were born. I just didn't know you. She never went to show up on the camera. Quinn pinned Donna's legs with that chair. Yo, that was an epic episode. I remember Albert was so tight about that episode. But I loved it. Quinn would have bodied Brooke. Who's he talking to? The cat. She's right here. Right, Mia? Show yourself to the camera. You always run whenever the camera comes. Who taught Steffi how to cat? <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Kyrie's love him some kitty. Spider Quake, you're going to speak very, that's very inappropriate. Okay, that's an inappropriate reference. Okay. Brooke knows who to try. She sure do. She knows who to try. Got you. I'm put. I'm putting her in my community. Betty's a solid eight. Yeah. Okay. And I'm putting her in my community tab. Let's see. They're gonna know I'm not crazy, or than usual.
I put I put a picture of the cat on my community tab. Don't be mad, Ava. She slapped Ava to Africa and back. Brooke Logan will not allow it. Watch your mouth, spider. Dewan Lee. First of all, okay, Betty had her little her little weak slap only because those were temporary writers that didn't know what they were doing. Okay, the right the temporary writers made a, a error in judgment when they allowed Betty to slap Ava. That was an era of judgment on the writer's part, on the scab writers, because, come on. Ava will, the real Ava Jerome, Kyrie's weak. Ava flew to Africa and back. Ain't no no weak slap. First of all, it wasn't that damn hard, okay? Ava was fine. You acting like Ava had was all bloodied and stuff. She wasn't that damn banged up. I told you, Spider, only Jess could only shush me sometimes. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, that was that slap. That was a hard slap when Tiffany slapped me a yim. And Ava is not weak, Lashanta. Okay, Ava is still a beautiful, strong woman in her own right. Okay. She still got things going on for herself. So. I'm just saying. When, Kyrie's? Always, okay? Ava Jerome is still a strong woman. Now, just because is she as... Because Ava's a good mom now. Okay, that's why. She's still a strong, beautiful mother. She's a mother. Okay. I'm just saying, she had to become someone that Avery could rely on. Okay. She's no longer just a small visiting, visiting parent. She's a custodial parent now. She has custody of Avery now. She had to get her act together. All right. She has joint custody. She finally got the custodial rights that she wanted for Avery all this time. She finally has it. Okay. John wants Sonny gone on GH. Huh? John wants her gone. Oh, Mr. Brennan. Mr. Brennan. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. John Jagger. John Jagger. Yeah. See, I was like confused for a second. I'm just saying. But Lashanta, you have to acknowledge that, that Ava had to get her act together to keep custodial rights to Avery. She's no longer just, I saw her touch Sonny. They will be in bed. Absolutely not. He's not doing her. What if Avery ends up with a little brother or sister? She already has a little sister. She has Donna Corinthos. That's her little sister. That's all she needs. Okay. As for a little brother, that ship has sailed. Ava is too old to have another baby. Did I really just say that? Did I really just finally admit that? That Ava's too old to have? Yeah, she's old. I'm just saying, she's not young and vibrant anymore. 
She's middle-aged. She can't be having no more babies right now. She has she has Avery. She probably yeah, she drinks way too much, okay? Ava ain't popping up no more kids. Jagger is Stone's brother. Oh really? I didn't know that. I'm just saying she had she done had way too many kids back in her day. Now, now a storyline twist that I would like. What if Ava had a long lost long lost child out there? Now that I I wouldn't mind if Avery had a brother out there and Ava like they could rewrite history and say that Ava had a baby that she thought she miscarried back in the day that she never talked about. I'd be cool with that. Dewan says Dex. Now I don't really see the drama if it's Dex. And then Lashanta says, I miss Kiki. I don't, to be honest with you. I really don't. I'm just saying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it if Ava had a long lost son out there. I think that'd be that'd make compelling TV. Work for a little while. It would give Ava a fresh storyline. But I don't think Dex would be interesting. He says, Sonny's not too old. Yes, because men could produce babies whenever. But, um, and then DeWine pointing out the facts that Kyrese loves Aunt Jordan. You damn right. I love that woman. I love all her. Why'd they get another Jagger? Because the other one tried to sue or something like that. Or did sue or try to get Frank fired or something around that that effect. Something around that ballpark. Sunny, Stone was close to Sonny. Yep. I know Sonny mentions Stone every chance he gets. Kyrie's Aunt Jordan looks spider quake. You're going to stop with all your lies and fallacies, okay? You're going to stop. Little boy, we're going to get you some glasses. So Spider Quick, go put your 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 on Venmo or Cash App or whatever on there. And so therefore we can we can start a GoFundMe for Spider Quick to go get him some glasses. Because he's clearly blind if he thinks Aunt Jordan isn't good looking for her age. I think Ava would know if she birthed a baby. LOL. Not really. Not all these shows. I'm just saying, or she could have had a long lost embryo out there. She might have donated her eggs to somebody. Uh, maybe when she, when she was trying to make the gallery work, she sold her egg to somebody. And that's her biological son. As long as a man doesn't have a medical issue, he could have a baby at any age. True. Morgan's middle name is Stone. Uh huh. Jagger blamed Sonny for getting Stone involved in the streets, but Jagger was in the streets also. Mm -mm, the hypocrisy is staggering. So, yeah, so let Ava have a long-lost embryo out there that she helped a, a couple become whatever, and then that baby didn't even end up raised by them. So now that baby hates Ava for doing all that. She found out, he found out that that was that. Um, they could do that storyline twist. Ava doesn't know that that's her child. Out there, by blood, at least. When she was young, she went. She was a struggling single mom to Kiki in the beginning. So she said, you know what? I'll sell my eggs. But Or, or um, the biological parents were nothing but abusive. And then... He finally snapped, and now he finds out his birth mom was Ava Jerome. But he wants to be a Jerome now, and he resents her for giving up the mob life. So that could be an interesting storyline. It would give Ava a whole nother purpose. Sounds like Jake is an anti-gun. Should be interesting for Jason. Uh-huh. 
as long as and then Dewan keeps saying Dex. Dex is not interesting enough to be Ava's son. I know Jessica will be mad when I said it, but I'm not Albert. <laughs> I keep my same energy. I said it. Dex is not interesting enough to be Ava's son. Because what? where's the drama in that? Dex being the son of Ava Jerome, there's no drama. There's no drama. I'm just saying. Jocelyn's already cool with Ava right now. So where's the beef at? Where's the juice to that story? There's no juice. There's no layers to that story of Dex being Ava's son. Like, no. I'm curious where are Dex's parents? I know. Um, I know he has two brothers, so it could be a, only a matter of time before Jocelyn sleeps with all three of them. So, you know what they say, like mother, like daughter. And Carly slept with all three Quartermain brothers. So, who's his family? Someone Jocelyn will be in bed with. It won't be long. I give it a month. I give it a few a few months of them arriving to town. She probably won't even know that that's Dex's brother, but she'll be sleeping with him and be begging Dex to forgive her. She's just trifling. I can see her doing that. But I really enjoyed last last Friday's um, stream with last day. Just thought about that. That was a really good stream. It was fun. Wait till Dex till they find Dex and Michael's money trail. Mm hmm. They gonna get it. Michael finna get it. I would love if Nina's the one that found out. And she just tells Sonny right away, don't try to blackmail Michael. Don't try to do nothing. Because if Nina doesn't say anything, then she's manipulating Michael. But if she does say anything, she's vindictive. So I would tell them, F you. I'm going to tell Sonny. That would be a, the icing on the cake. Because Michael thinks that he's Mr. Untouchable, that he's all that and then some. But Nina and Sonny need to knock him down a few pegs. Jake better have several seats. Jason's life is dangerous. Well, Jason is a deadbeat dad, LaShanta. Try to dispute that fact. That Jason Morgan is a deadbeat dad. So I don't know why people are so excited that he's coming back. Like, why are we propping up deadbeat? He's a deadbeat dad. So Michael isn't actually Sonny's son. How much revenge will he do, Carly aside? Mm hmm. Well, he adopted him, so he does consider him his son regardless. So. Of DNA or not, but mm. I'm just saying he might finally whoop Michael's ass though. Sonny will lose it on Michael. I'm hoping. Here's one to hope, and I hope he beats the hell out of Michael. No, Jason is not. Nick is a deadbeat dad. Hold up. You know how much I can't stand Nick Newman. Jason only spends one day each year with with his kid, each kid. Exactly. As much as I don't even like Nick Newman, I hate him. 
But you're going to try to say that Jason's a better dad than Nick Newman? You got to be trolling. Come on. Unless you're talking about Nicholas Casting, I mean, even still. <laughs> Nicholas has seen Spencer more than Jason has ever seen. Um, Jason, Nicholas has been there for Ace and Spencer way more than Jason has ever been there for Danny or Jake. And that's just a fact. I'm just saying. Because Jason wasn't providing for Jake like that upon his return. I remember when when Elizabeth was talking about um, when Franco was trying to borrow a hundred thousand dollars from um, from Scott because worrying about Jake's college funding crap and talking about um, how the heater broke in the house. They were all sitting over there freezing in that house. If Jason was a Jason got money out of from here all the way to, to New York City and, and back. Nick Newman is no one's deadbeat dad. And I don't even like, is no one's deadbeat dad. I don't even like Nick Newman. Exactly. What if Jason is running Pikeman? Ooh, that would be a twist. And hey, Lisa, everybody, welcome Lisa to the chat. Say hello to Lisa, everybody. That would be a nice twist. If, because I'm just saying, why should they bring Jason back at the same time? He said, Lisa Smith says, long time. Yes, it's it's awesome to have you here. Jason is a good, is a, is a horrible father. Yes, he is. He's never been there for his kids. Jason provided for his kids and Michael. No, he did not. Jake was sitting over there. I remember, I'll never forget it when Franco was saying that the heater in Elizabeth's house broke or whatever, and they were free, they were all freezing all night long. Even Elizabeth flat out said it to Jason's face that Jason's a deadbeat. Talk about, oh, are you going to step up? Nick has not been there for Ace. He's there for him now. He's, he's, he, he met him. That's more than. That's more than Jason has been for Danny or Jake. Jason is a deadbeat dad. He abandons those boys for Carly all the time. Jason was more concerned about his about Sonny and Carly than his dad. You you right, Lisa. I gotta pin that comment. Jason was more concerned about Sonny and Carly than his damn kids. You damn right. I know that's right. Liz has always been blue collar. She was too proud like Sally. Mm -mm. Don't try to throw Elizabeth under the bus to justify that Jason is a deadbeat dad. He's a deadbeat. He ain't never been there for his kids. Drew is the best father of all, though. Uh, here you go. And DeWine go. He and Drew get the Deadbeat Dad Twin Award. <laughs> I'm here for that, Lisa. The Deadbeat Dad Twin Award. I'm here for it. Because it's true. I love that episode. I need, I need to find that clip. When Elizabeth said, oh, so are you going to step up for Jake and be there for him regularly the way um, the way Franco has? I didn't think so. <laughs> so it's like, oh, shit. So he basically called him a deadbeat. I, I loved that. Yes, good night, LaShanta. It's awesome to have you as always. And LaShanta knows that Jason Morgan is a deadbeat. But everybody say good night to LaShanta. Well, Say again, that's almost everybody because we're about to wrap up the stream in the next minute or so, anyways. But Drew left his kids to go to do a bid for Carly. Get the F out of here. Yes, Lisa is on fire tonight. I'm loving it. I'm here for it. I'm here for all of it. I'm here for the mess. Here for it. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. For all the complaining, Jason 
adds about the quarter mains. At least his family spent time arguing about him. Mm-hmm. Hello, it's midnight. I'm th- I'm thronging into a pumpkin. Love to y'all. Good night. Yes, good night. Ava was a deadbeat to Kiki. Not true. She raised Kiki. All right? She raised Kiki. For better or worse. For way worse. But she raised her. Okay? Ava was the only parent in Kiki's life. And that was a bad thing. But it happened. So that's just a fact. Monica loved Jason, even though it was not her kid. Exactly, she did. She she was she was a good woman. Monica Quartermain turning, I'm um, turning into a pumpkin. Love to y'all. Good night. Yes, good night, Allison. Who is Kiki's dad? Silas Clay. Nina's ex husband. Nina's first husband was Kiki's dad, Silas. Darby says, okay. Shannon says, good night to everybody as well. So, yes, um, I am going to call this stream a wrap. This has been a very fun live stream, and Kiki had a good dad, and Franco took care of Kiki also. Yeah. Dewan says, good night. Um, and good night, Lisa. It was great having, having you, even though it was the last few minutes, but we love, we love having you. Um, so yes, that makes them Willow and her sisters. Yes, it was a lovely few minutes. It was a very lovely few minutes. And good night, Danny Bear. Good night, Spider Quake. Good night, Darby. Good night, Allison. Good night, Gemini. Good night, Queen Jessica. Good night, Albert again. And good night, every and good night, Danny Bear 87, and everybody else. This is a very fun stream. I was, oh, and good night, Becky. And good night, everybody else. This is really, really fun. And I will see you all tomorrow, probably. So have a great night. Peace.